Hi there, my name is Katasura and today I'm going to show you how to set up Superior Skyblock 2 on your Minecraft server. It's a very easy to set up Skyblock plugin and while it's already great by default, there's also lots of stuff you can change yourself. So today we will go and take a look at that. But before we begin, I got a new skin. I thought it was time for something new. Katasura deserved some new clothes. I have to say it feels kind of weird to, for the first time in three years, play with another Minecraft skin. Skin, but I will get used to it and I'm sure you guys will as well. So before we start make sure to smash that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell you would really help me out with doing that you actually would and then without any further ado let's dive right into this. Before we start setting up Skyblock, I want to tell you that this video is sponsored by Phoenix Plugins. They're great developers that have created amazing plugins like Phoenix Crates and Phoenix Lobby, as well as some amazing looking model packs. Make sure to check them out through the link in the description and use code KASASORA for a 15% off your order. Now with all that out of the way, let's go and set up Skyblock. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link in the description of this video that will take you to the Spigot MC page from Superior Skyblock 2. Here you want to click on download from external site. That will take you to this website over here. And then on the top right corner, you will see latest stable version. You want to just click on the download icon and there we go. After that, go to your Minecraft server folder and drag the file we just downloaded into your plugins folder. After that's done, join your server and type slash pl to see if your plugin is actually successfully installed. In our case it is, which is perfect. Now before we're gonna dive into the config file, let me show you everything we already got. So by default this plugin actually works great. So we can now already type slash island create and then i'm gonna give it a name in our case i'm gonna call it test there we go now i will have a choice between three islands so we got the normal island the celium island and the desert island i'm just gonna go for the normal one there we go we're on skyblock skyblock is successfully installed so when i'm in survival here i can actually start getting ourselves some wheat we can plant them back i can loot this chest with some basic gear in it there we go beautiful and we get ourselves some lava and ice so i can actually start creating myself a cobblestone generator so let's see if i actually remember how to do this then we place an ice here break it yeah and then lava over here yeah there we go so like you can see it turns into stone not cobblestone that's because that's what this plugin does so i'm gonna give myself a stone pickaxe real quick there we go and now i will be able to mine we got ourselves a cobblestone generator it is freaking awesome and like you can see we're also able to get coal so we will also get coal through this generator and eventually when your generator levels up it will also be able to generate iron or redstone and eventually even diamonds so the way you upgrade your generator is all through slash is panel just like that and here you will get an amazing looking menu with all sorts of options so we got teleports back to your island here we can change some island settings so when we click on it you can see that we got tons of settings here for example should it always be day on our island or should it always be night should creeper explosion be enabled or not should pvp be enabled yes or no so those are all options you can change per island which is really cool then you got island permissions so these are permissions for other players you can of course invite other players to your island and when they're on your island how much should they be allowed to do that's pretty much what you change here then we got the island biomes so you will actually be able to change your biome here we can change the biome to something like jungle and upon doing that we will now be inside of a jungle biome now you might need to rejoin your server for this to actually take effect oh no it works right away there we go we're inside of a jungle biome now then we got the island bank so a place to store your money we got island upgrades and this is actually where you can also upgrade your generator so you will see that for a price of 250,000, you can upgrade your generator to level 2 and when it's on level 2 you can see that the rates change so instead of only stone and coal it can then also generate redstone now here in the middle we got top islands which is a place where you can see the most valuable islands so currently it is me my worth is minus six 
But because I'm the only player here on the server, my island is number one. So you can sort on worth or level or rating, and then you can just see who has the best island. Then we got the island missions. This is a really cool part from Superior Skyblock. So you will have miner missions, slayer missions, farmer missions, fisherman missions, and explorer missions. They all kind of speak for themselves. With miner missions, for example, you will have a goal of mining 84 cobblestone and 16 coal ore. And when you do that, you will get a reward from $1,000 as well as a generator upgrade, which is awesome. So this will actually get us to generator level 2 without having to purchase the upgrade for $25,000. So make sure to keep your eye on these missions, they're great. And then we got the island counts. So see all the blocks on your island. Currently, not that interesting. Then island disband. Disband your island. We got a community chest for your island, so that's also great. Then island visitors, so this is where you can manage your visitors. If you have visitors on your island, you can remove them here. You can put them in other groups. All that kind of stuff. And then here, island members. So like you can see, by default, lots of options. Now the commands, I'm not going to show them all because there are many of them. But most of them are pretty straightforward. So let's say you want to invite someone to your island. It is just slash is invite and then you can invite a player. You will also have slash is balance, is border, is delete, is set warp, is fly, is kick if you want to kick a player from your island. So there are many commands but through that panel you can pretty much do everything. So when you're using that panel you don't have to use the commands a whole lot. Okay, awesome. Now that you know the basics on how Superior Skyblock works, let me show you the config and where you can change stuff. So inside of your server folder, go to plugins and after that look for Superior Skyblock 2. Double click and here you will see all the important files. So let's go and take a quick look at the config. So here you can find all your general options. Now all the way at the top you will be able to change to a MySQL database which is great. So if you want to store all your data on a MySQL database then that's totally possible. Here you have island commands. So slash island slash is and slash islands will all work. You can of course add another one to here so for example slash isle and now that will also be a command now here you got the max island size the default island value there are so many settings you can change also the default generator so cobblestone 95 percent coal or five percent so this is before you got yourself any upgrades these valuables you can all change to whatever you want you also got an island height so on which height will your island be generated currently it's 100 should blocks get directly added into player's inventory might be a cool feature it's disabled by default but you can enable it also rounded island levels might look a little bit better in general everything inside of this config file gets explained pretty well so you will have an explanation for pretty much every single option inside of the whole config so just go through it after installing this plugin see if you want to change yourself some settings but by default it's already really great now over here we got the schematics folder in here you will see your three Three default islands all with a normal overworld nether and end variant now the chance is there that you don't want to use these three default schematics so let me show you how to create a new one so I'm gonna show my building skills. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make a great looking island. There we go. I call it cobblestone. But I want to give the player some items. So let's put a chest on there. And then I'm gonna grab myself some diamonds. Put the diamonds inside of the chest. All right, look at that. Who wants this island? Oh wait, I forgot the water. Uh, let's get some water. Let's also get some lava. Uh, lava buckets, yes. Okay, now we're talking. So this is a great looking island, I know. Now, I want to turn this island into a schematic so that players can choose it as soon as they create an island. So how do you do that? Well, first you want to build an island. Complete. The second step will be typing slash island admin and then schematic just like that this will toggle the schematic mode now we're gonna grab ourselves a golden axe and then we want to make sure to select the whole island so i'm gonna select this part and then as the first position i'm gonna select this part there we go so now we've selected our full island now i want to type slash islands admin 
schematic and then we want to give it a name so i'm gonna call it cobble because this is gonna be our cobble island so island schematic cobble press enter and there we go successfully saved schematic beautiful now we want to add it to the island creation menu so that as soon as players create a new island this island will be a choice for them and of course they want this island i mean look at it it looks great <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at building a Minecraft. It's insane. So here inside of the schematics folder, you will also see the cobble.schematics file. That's great. Now what you want to do is go to the menus folder. By doing that, you will get a big list of menus. And you want to look for the island creation menu. Here it is. Islandcreation.yml. Open it up. And this is where we want to add our island. So all of these symbols here represent a choice. So this symbol here represents the normal island. This symbol here represents the mushroom island. So if we want to add a new schematic, as in a new island, then we want to add it to the menu here and we want to add it down here. So let's go and try that. So first of all, I'm going to shift everything in the menu a little bit. So I'm going to put this one there and then I want this symbol to be here. All right. And now here we will have a star and then like this. Okay. So now I've just shifted them all a little bit to the left so that we have space for another one, which is the star. Now the star is currently nothing, but that's what we're gonna add. So I'm simply just gonna copy this whole part. So everything from the symbol to all the way down at the bottom, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna back off a little bit and then we're gonna paste it. Now you should make sure that this symbol here is aligned with the symbol up there. Otherwise you will get an error. So I think it is aligned right now that looks great all right now i'm gonna change this symbol here to our new star symbol so there we go and then at schematic here i'm of course gonna change it to the schematic we just created which is called cobble so i'm gonna put cobble here there we go now i can also change the kind of biome it should be so i can change this to a taiga biome for example then here you can change the block it will be displayed as in the menu so currently the type of block is a player hat and this is what you could call the skull id so i will leave a link to this website in the description of this video but over here you can just click on custom hats and then you can choose whatever one you want it really doesn't matter so i'm gonna look for cobblestone let's see if we can find something oh yeah we can we can for sure i'm gonna choose this one it looks like a regular cobblestone, which is fine. So then what you want to do is scroll down and you want to copy the value here. After that, go back to your config file and then we're going to change this value here. So just make sure to select it all and then paste the new value in there. Now let's do the same thing for this one. So just paste it in there. Beautiful. All right. So now our cobble schematic will actually look like a cobblestone. Then we can give it a name. So I'm going to name it cobble island and then down here you will have the lore so a simple island with trees and a mining area uh no it is a simple island with cobblestone and diamonds <laughs> so do make sure that everything you fill in here under access is also filled in under no access so 90 percent of time everyone will have access to every single island though if for some reason a player doesn't have access then they don't all of a sudden need to see another name for example so make sure that the name cobble island is also copied under the no access tab there we go and of course your lore you also want to copy it to the no access part after that's all done make sure to save your file also do make sure that the symbol here is a symbol you've actually not used yet so in our case we're going for the star the star hasn't been used yet we've added it here to the menu so it should now work so once again save your file then let's go back in game and now i'm just gonna type slash is admin reload there we go and now when we try to create an island slash island create i'm gonna call it test again there we go we will have a new option it is the cobble island simple island with cobblestone and diamonds let's click on it and there we go our new beautiful island we got one glass block the rest is all cobblestone and we have many diamonds in here we also got lava and the water buckets this is probably not possible but <laughs> it doesn't matter it's fun or maybe it is is it no we don't have any wood it's not possible. Islands disbands. 
There we go. Yes, I'm sure. So that's how you add a new schematic to Superior Skyblock 2. Now, if you want to, for example, edit some missions, you will need to go to Modules. After that, Missions. Then you will need to go to Categories. After that, whatever one you want. So let's go for Minor. And then let's choose Minor 1. And in here, you will be able to fully customize the mission. So from the name to what it requires to what the reward is, everything you can change. Now, if you would want to create a new mission, you can simply copy, for example, Minor 5, then change the name to Minor 6, and fully customize your mission inside of that file. Now, back inside of the Superior Skyblock 2 folder, if you go to Modules, and after that, Upgrades, and then go to the config.yml, you will here be able to edit all your island upgrades. So here we got the Hopper upgrades, then we got the Crop Growth upgrades, then we got the Spawner Rate upgrades, but what people probably want to change eventually is on line 206, the generator rates. So this is what the first generator will be like. So some stone and coal ore, but not more. But after that, when you upgrade to generator level 2, you will also get redstone. In generator level 3, you will get some iron and lapis. Then in generator level 4, you will get gold and iron and emeralds. Now, of course, if you want to, you can add another level. That's completely up to you. But this is where you can change that. Now, I could show you even more, but this video would be an hour long. There is so much stuff you can change in Superior Skyblock, it is actually insane. I at least showed you how to add schematics, I also showed you how to edit the island creation menu, and for all other menus it will mostly be the same process. But guys, this is gonna be it for now. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, also smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. Now if you do have any more questions about Superior Skyblock 2 or any other Minecraft plugin, on my Discord server we have the community support channel in there you can ask other community members for help if you're stuck with something so make sure to join the discord server a link will be in the description it might just help you out and then with all that being said thank you so much for watching we're getting closer and closer to the 20k subscriber milestone which will be insane and then i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>